Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary and here we talk all things houseplants with a bit more emphasis in Hoyas. Nevertheless, today's video uh, is quite different from the usual and this is uh, because I'm gonna do a huge experiment. So today we're going to talk about Pafkal. What is Pafkal? I'm not sure if you have heard it before. Uh, I have learned about it quite recently, only maybe a couple of months ago. And Pafkal is a new soilless growing medium, um, an alternative to soil, and I would also say an alternative to pawn or leka. First of all, before going through the details about Pafkal and how it is used, I would like to say that uh, I decided to make this video. Uh, I have no affiliation with the company producing this. I'm not sponsored by them by any means. Um, although it wouldn't be bad to be honest. But anyway, uh, so yes, I just decided to make this video because um, I believe that it's something quite different and quite revolutionary in the industry and probably it's going to be the new pawn in a sense so to start with uh, what is pafkal pafkal is a sponge like material which is supposed to be replacing soil it is an invention that came out of a collaboration of three different companies uh, one company is toyota Toyota, yes, the one with the cars. The second company is Santori. Santori, yes, the one with the alcoholic beverages and whiskies. And the third is Midori. So, uh, Pafkal has started growing in Asia mainly. I have never heard about it before uh, in any groups or forums in you know, the States or in Europe. Um, and I believe that it started because it is a collab of Japanese brands. So it technically it started in Japan. Um, let me first of all show you. So this is, well, imagine that this is full because <laughs> I have already used some in order to prepare for this video. But this is 400 grams of pafkal chips. Let me show you a little bit. So, these are the Pafkal chips, which is very spongy. It's like a sponge material. Uh, now, a bit of history before we go into details about Pafkal. Uh, as I said, it's a collaboration of three different companies. So, Toyota, the car manufacturer, started um, research on biotechnology in around 1999. And they have made a um, department which uh, specializes in afforestation, biotechnology, etc., etc., in order to make our lives greener, in a sense. Santori, on the other hand, um, in 2008, they also established the environmental and greening department. And then in 2012, Midori came in. So um, Toyota Santori Midori uh, made a partnership in order to create this uh, soilless medium. Originally, Pafkal started um, in uh, Japan and now it has expanded in countries like Malaysia and Singapore. So Midori, which is also the distributor, has um, branches around China, uh, has some offices in Malaysia and Singapore. So it has started becoming more well known in Southeast Asia, especially Malaysia. Uh, in Hong Kong in particular, we have been using PAFCAL, well, the government or, you know, uh, enterprise have been using PAFCAL for some green walls. So you may have seen huge installation in businesses or in some shops with uh, full plants, live plants, not fake ones. Um, 
in Hong Kong in particular, if I'm not mistaken, we have around 58 of this kind of installations that they have been using Pafcal. So Pafcal comes in different uh, types and sizes. Um, it is supposed to be lighter than soil and this is one of the reasons why many companies uh, prefer Pafcal to soil for their wall installations, their uh, live plant wall installations and um, it, it's supposed to have a better uh, absorbency of uh, water and better um, air to water uh, percentages. So, uh, first of all, it's supposed to be 50% lighter than soil. That by itself is a huge plus. Uh, it's supposed to have a better balance of air and water. So, it, uh, although soil has around 30% of air, or can retain, let's say, 30% uh, of air, the balance of air to water is 70 to 30 with Pafcal. So, um, Immediately, this makes it a much better medium, supposedly, for plant growing. Um, after 10 years of research, they have developed this. This is the final solution. It's supposed to be 100% organic. I'm not sure about the ingredients. And funnily enough, I checked a few Reddit channels and a few, you know, apparently on the official website, nothing has been mentioned. Uh, so after I started digging a little bit, I'm still not sure 100% what the ingredients are. There, are. there is nowhere to be mentioned about the exact ingredients. But what the companies say uh, while they advertise the product is that it is supposed to be eco-friendly. It is 100% organic. It has a lifespan of 10 years. So that means that it is reusable and you don't have to top as you are topping the soil on plants, etc, etc. It's much cleaner than soil. Um, it is more lightweight, as we already said, and in general, it is uh, lower maintenance. So, um, the company, uh, first of all, <laughs> let me tell you this. All these are the good things. The bad part of Pafcal is that it is expensive. Uh, it's much more expensive than Leca. It's, I would say, more expensive than uh, Pon, and definitely more expensive than soil. So, um, I would not personally use it for all my house plants. Uh, but if it does work out. I believe that I will transfer lots of my finicky house plants in Pathcal. I have already started and we will go through this in a while. So how are you using Pathcal? Um, Pathcal comes in different forms. So originally it started with the green walls, which is like a huge sponge, depending on you know how big the installation you want to make is. And uh, this is, I believe that this is um, done by Midori directly. So as, you know, like individuals, I'm not sure if we will be able to get a huge wall of Pafcal to install our plants. Uh, the second type, which is quite common, is the pre-cut sponges. So these are called, what I showed you here, uh, it's called Pafcal chips because as you see they are very small sponges uh, with various dimensions like I would say they are from maybe 5 up to 8, 9 or maybe 3, yeah, 3 up to 8, 9 millimeters or even bigger, some of them are, yeah, are quite bigger, um, but the standard uh, or what it is more common let's say is the pre-cut shaped sponges. So the idea is that if you have a house plant that, or a plant in general that you want to put in Pafcal, you have these, I will post some photos, you have these um, pre-cut shapes, you put plant in. Um, for me, I thought that this is a bit too standardized for what I want to do and how I want to try Pafcal. 
So I have found that Pascal chips, which is what I got here, uh, should work better with my setups. As I was saying, it's not very common, so it's not easy to find. Right now you can only find from the official distributor, which is Midori. Um, during my last trip in Singapore, I managed to get my hands in some, and as I said, it's quite expensive. So, for this bag, which is roughly, not roughly, it is full, it is 400 grams of Pafkai chips, and the price is around 20 USD, which, okay, I would not really say that it is a cheap thing. I mean, I understand all the R&D behind it and that it really has a very long lifespan and all this, but I would not get any more than the minimum, let's say, which was 400 grams, and because I really want to try it first. If it works out, then okay, maybe I will swear by uh, Pafkal. But right now I'm a little bit hesitant in, you know, to spend more money for something that might be quite similar to Pon or Leka in any case. I have asked the company before getting it because most of my house plants are Hoyas, okay. Also, most of my house plants are in semi-hydro, are in self-watering pots. Um, and they told me that yes, it can work with uh, self-watering pots, no problem. Indeed, actually, they recommend it as well. So, how does this thing work? It's supposed to be quite clean, as I told you from the general specs. Um, what you have to do is you take these chips, you just soak them in water for like 10 minutes, and then they're good to go, to go. You can use them any way you want. So these I have already soaked for maybe a little bit more, maybe 20 minutes already. And they do not, I would not say that they dilute or anything. It's actually, it's quite strange because although they are sponge, so this, let me get a chunky one. So this is a dried puffkite chip, okay? This is a wet Pafkal chip. I would not say that they have much difference. This is a bit firmer. This is slightly softer. And you see, it does not drip any water. So it retains water. But if I do this, did you see? Let me get another one. So it has all these sponge qualities in a sense. So here, this is one that I had. Um, wet it before and you see here it really drips so um, I would for sure I have not changed water or anything on this and you will see eventually that the water is uh, okay a bit brownish but it's not as bad as you would see with uh, like our pond so the residue for sure is less and um, the fact that it is organic and um, it actually resembles pit soil. This is uh, what uh, the company told me. So the fact that it is organic um, makes it uh, a good prospect for combining with other mediums like coco chunks or tree bark or whatever. Personally, because it is too expensive I really don't want to use it in combination with other mediums, uh, potting soil or tree bark or whatever, until I see it by itself and you know how it works and if my plants and especially my Hoyas uh, are liking it. It's supposed to be good for over 400 different plants according to the manufacturer um, not for food consumption though because they don't have the qualifications and the certificates so I if you have I don't know tomato plants that you really love maybe if you can try and you know grow them in Pafkal but personally would not do it to be honest um, okay so what I have done one week before is I tried uh, I started testing it a little bit so I had my Huskeliana inner variegated, 
which um, I had to separate when I got it originally from uh, Singapore it had some root roots so I technically I cut all the bad roots and I um, did I put it in water to sort of start developing new roots again it had developed some new uh, roots actually there were two cuttings one I put in water the other I had put in uh, stratum in ADA um, and both of them have developed nice root system so the first one I tried Pafkal this is pre-wet Pafkal um, you see that I have a I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera but I have a small reservoir here so I'm using it the same way I'm using Leka with a reservoir or pawn with the reservoir in this instance no wick nothing but uh, I have I made the transfer to Pafkal maybe 10 12 days ago and after week one I saw that the water reservoir was down to nothing so apparently it can self-absorb all the water and get all the water it needs in regards to roots i cannot see well i can see only one very small here i have tried to hide the roots as much as i could because i wanted to see if new roots are being developed uh, it's still quite early to say about the the root system on this one but one way to use after of course you hydrate the medium is to use it like that in a reservoir a second way that you can use it is with a wick so this is my second Huskeliana and I have just transferred with a wick system. So again self-watering self, -water self -watering pot, a wick and exactly the same as you would use any self-watering container. I have done the same for my Lacunosa Black Margin, you see here. And to be honest, I have used a transparent uh, pots or well, containers, whatever. This is just a drinking cup, uh, because I want to check the roots and how they are growing. I am not familiar with Pafkal. This is brand new for me, so I'm not sure how good they're gonna grow. I'm <laughs> I'm famous for killing like nosas. so this is really a good experiment. Uh, so far I had to fill in the pot with water one more time so for sure again it wakes up and um, the third option that you can use uh, pafkal, pafkal chips is uh, oh, a fungus not somewhere anyway uh, the third way that you can use I get it uh, Pafkal chips is uh, same as soil, as regular soil. You just need to water, depending on the plant apparently, and your humidity and da -da -da, you know temperature and all this. But uh, you can water like you would for a normal soil. Um, I'm not gonna try this. If I wanted this option, I would just use normal soil. I would not use something which is super expensive. So yes, let's see and. Today I have a cutting of uh, from my Hoya Kerry. Actually, let me. That's the one. Uh, I was rooting it in water. Let me take the tag out. It has developed some roots. Nothing crazy, but it took like forever to root. Like I don't know, one million years. <laughs> so I consider this fully rooted and ready for transfer um, to be honest I chose this cutting and not something else which is um, which has rooted even more uh, just because I want to see how it roots into Pafkal if it's not a well established plant let's say because truth to be told uh, both the Lacunosa and the Huskelianas when I transferred they had a very well developed root system um, so this for sure has roots, yes, as you can see here, but it's not as many as I would normally want in order to transfer to any medium, pawn, like a whatever. Um, so we will try this. Originally I got this one to try, but I think maybe this is a bit too big, so no. 
So the pot that I will be using, I was in between this and this, which as you can see again, this is not a pot, it's just a container which I have self made, you know, self watering with my soldering iron and I can just use it like that. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I will actually transfer it to this one because I really want um, I want to be able to see the roots. If I transfer to this one, yes, this is much nicer and you know, much more, let's say, uh, beautiful. But I will not be able to see the root progress. Um, so I will for sure move to, yeah, yeah, I made my mind. I will be moving it to this. So let's just start. I want to show you the whole process and it's actually, it's pretty straightforward to use. So if you have used um, pawn, leka or anything else, exactly the same idea, like as you would transfer, let me just take the wick, as you would transfer to pawn or leka, exactly the same way you're transferring this one. So I'm putting my wick system in. Let me see, okay, yeah plenty from I always because I'm not again I'm not a hundred percent sure how this will will work so I I always want to take the wick a little bit higher to make sure that it can get water and nutrients and everything so this is the pathcal tips that I have soaked before and what you do is just take a few chips oh, actually you know let me lower the camera for you guys Right here we are, I guess that's better. So you just take this and bring it in. Oh, actually, I hope that's enough. I believe it's enough, but so you see? Like that. It's so strange that the the texture of it it's really really strange. And let me see, I want to put the wick on the side. Okay. Mm, maybe a bit more before I put it in, yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is the new, you know, like the future of soilless houseplant growing but so far and the, the problem is that not so many people know about it I, I have only seen like a couple of YouTube videos um, and they were all from uh, people in Malaysia where the company has started establishing quite well so I am not really sure if you know it is easy to find in the States or in Europe in Europe probably not in States maybe you can check Amazon I mean like they oh you see this is a huge chunk so it's really random sizes really random sizes uh, yep yeah, I like it like that but so far I have to say that uh, it is going okay I mean the the plants that I have transferred to Pafkal don't have any issues a, a huge plus for me is, and I'm only saying this because I have this issue recently, a, a huge plus of Pafkal for me is that you can actually uh, check much much easier for millibugs because it is so dark, the color is so dark, in case you have any issues with the roots it's very easy to see, so if you have root millies like I have been struggling with uh, three, actually, three of my Hoyas recently. It is very, very easy to spot. And this is a huge plus. The problem for me is that exactly one of its benefits, that it is lightweight. So by Pafkal being so light, Yes, okay, it can be great for wall installations and if you have live plants, but if you have Hoyas with super heavy stem, and I'm talking about this carry-eye, it's not really easy for it to stand by itself. So I should put, well, you see what I'm doing here, it's super messy. 
Why didn't I get my reporting mat? I'm not sure. Anyway, so there is a huge issue with mediums that are lightweight for me. I don't like them. This is why I really like Pond because Pond, by being super heavy, it keeps the plant in its spot. It does not allow it to move around like you know what is happening here and I'm not sure if I need to squeeze this as I'm doing right now but yeah so this is what is left from the puff cut chips I have not finished this I will probably need to add a few more but I need to soak them first but the residue as you see is this well it's not the cleanest water do not try to i don't know drink this or whatever but it's not as bad as uh, ponoreleca um so the idea is that i will be keeping this carry eye here along with the others and check the progress on the roots all right guys i'm not gonna keep you waiting while i soak and finish with the reporting of this hairy eye but i will for sure keep you posted uh, with any updates about the progress of these plants if they grow nicely and they develop a good root system and they don't have any hiccups with them I will probably try to use on some of my harder Hoyas, the ones that are prone to root rot, for example. Uh, this remains to be seen though. I need to wait to check this out and then give you an update on how these are going. So fingers crossed and I'm not sure if Pafkal is the future of soilless houseplant growing or no, but for sure uh, the 10 years of research that uh, were put into this creation seem to be working. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you did like what you saw, please like and subscribe. I will be keeping you posted with regular updates about this, either on my Instagram or with uh, short stories. And see you all next time. Bye.